So today, this arrived. Something that I didn't think I was gonna get for a long time, but we got it. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this unboxing video. I might have to put it on the floor and take it out piece by piece, but let's see how this works here. This is my new and first 3D printer here. Try to take uh, the rest of this stuff off here and get it all set up. Got the printer here all set up. It's just heating up the nozzle. I'm loading in the filament now. I ordered this printer two days ago and it literally showed up today. I didn't even order the filament or the TPU for my drone parts yet or anything. So it's kind of nice that they gave me uh, some extra there to test out with. We'll get this going and then I'll show you the 3D print when it's done. All right, we got our first print loading up here. Little panda bear. Here it goes, it's flat. I thought it was gonna be like a 3D object. Okay, it's the next day now and the panda test didn't really turn out. I ran out of uh, the filament, the sample filament wasn't enough to print that panda. I thought it was gonna be a little small figure but it took up the whole board here and just kind of ran out. But we did get this in. This is a Scene Smart TPU. Um, I only got black to start with. Hopefully I get more colors in the future but this is what we got to work with today. I've only heard good things about this stuff so hopefully it turns out good. I don't really know what I'm doing in the Bamboo Lab studio here. It's my first time opening it up. I'm sure I'm gonna get more familiar and understand what's happening more when I practice with it. But I downloaded a preset that said it works good with the Sane Smart TPU, so we're gonna be running that. And then I downloaded an ARM and Motor Guard off Thingiverse, and I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Hopefully, I can make my own uh, models in the future, but again, I have no idea what I'm doing here. So we're gonna load in this filament and then click start. Go ahead and load the filament up. All I do is kind of stick it through this tube, and it goes all the way down into the head there. I'm gonna click load here. It's gonna go through a couple options. Okay, I'm just gonna click send to printer here. Sending the job through. And now it's downloading onto the printer. It was 25 minutes to get this one part done. So I just had to stop the print here. Doesn't look like it's working out right. So I've restarted the print here with something called support on it. So it's gonna like kind of build everything up that overhangs that doesn't have anything underneath it. All right, so the print finished here. It's looking kind of promising. Let's go ahead and take it off of the pad here. Oh, that's hard to take off. Okay, got it off. All right, then all of this stuff should be able to peel off, I think, and then we have one motor guard. All right, and one arm is fully complete here. It's like a perfect fit. That's gonna add so much protection to the arm and to the motor there. So time to print three more of these off and then we'll move on to the GoPro. All right, so we got all of our motors printed off and fit on there and honestly, it's a really good fit. I'm really surprised on how they turned out and it's just perfect. After I printed out all the motors, we went ahead and printed out the GoPro. This one took a little bit longer. It took over three hours to print this part out here. And now we got the new GoPro mount installed here. I got a new tune on the drone too to compensate for all the weight that we added on. Let's take it up and see how it flies. Wow, it flies amazing with this new tune on it. There's almost like no prop wash at all, look at that. Yeah, I might go ahead and do like a, like a whole separate tune video and rates video cause it is super easy to do it how I did, but it's just kind of confusing with all the steps, but everything But everything you have to do to get the tune right is easy. Yeah, what I just said made no sense at all, but what I was trying to say is, that was a bad one. I'm just having too much fun with this drone right now, I can't even talk. What I was trying, what I'm trying to say is I'm gonna do a whole nother video on a tune and everything because this thing works perfectly here, the rates are great, and it's just a couple of steps you need to take to make sure that those uh, rates in your tune is perfect. Whoa, didn't know there was a tree there. Yeah, this quad flies like 10 out of 10 now even with all this added weight. Look at that right there, holy cow. Yeah, I don't know this spot too well, so I don't know like where the little holes and stuff I can go is, but 
it's pretty cool. We got some big trees here. Um, definitely some different opportunities to try some tricks out and stuff. This, these two trees here would be perfect like a power loop. So I'm gonna try to do some power loop tests here. That was sick. That's cool too. Get some tight turns in around these trees down here. Yeah, this quad's flying great right now. I'm super happy with this. It's so fun that I just made all these parts too for it. Whoa, a little bit scary there. This quad flies great now. I can't really talk because I'm moving so fast with it, but we'll try to slow it down a bit here. I hope the GoPro is not shaking too much. I don't think it would be because like my actual quad itself is not shaking at all. Oh, a little bit of shakes there on the way down, but nothing like how it used to be. Oh. I tried going down there and I just went up, didn't know what to do and I just went for it. Just cut the throttle down and floated through luckily. That's cool. So yeah, I'm gonna try to start doing some like rolls and stuff into my flying. I think that's like kind of like the next step to practice. We're getting good at like the power loops, like the kind of a split S type thing. Now we need to start with these rolls. I was way off center there, but we got it back. Getting some low batteries, we're gonna bring it back now. Awesome. Look at that, that was a fun flight. Wow, that quad rips now. So what I was trying to say out there, I can barely talk because I was just having so much fun flying fast and hard. I want to do a video on how I got all my rates and the tuning for this quad because it can be done to any quad that you have. But this tune is perfect, it's from Superfly, but there's a little bit of like tweaking you need to do. Like you need to go on their website, punch in some numbers, make sure your ESC is configured properly too. So I'm probably gonna do a video on that, but we'll put another pack in here, fly it around and have some more fun. Yeah, I feel like I have so much control with this quad now. Even like doing stuff fast like that would have been a real challenge for me before. I wanna learn how to kind of put some tricks together too. So I gotta kind of figure out what I can do, what I wanna learn and how to put them together. Cause right now, like what can I do with a power loop? Okay, so let's try to get a good power loop and then see what kind of comes naturally after that. Should have went back a little bit more there, okay. That's a little bit too far. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, we got it, holy crap. I tried doing a spin, that kind of felt natural. I'm gonna bring it in for a landing here to be safe, just to make sure everything's good up with the drone. So I was a little bit of a bad crash there. Yeah, everything's good with it. Luckily, we have those arm protectors we just printed out. That probably saved us a little bit there. That was going pretty fast into the ground. So, looks like we got some dirt on one of those arm protectors, smashed right into the ground, and then back up and flying. What am I doing here? My hands are shaking. My hands are shaking, my hands are shaking. That crash scared me a bit. Okay, I need to relax. I don't know if I can fly hard right now because the crash spooked me a little bit. Okay, feeling a little bit better now. That was a good power loop. So power loop to like that juicy flick is a nice one. That was like a super slow 
version of a juicy fleck there. Let's do some low flying in these trees here to calm down a bit. I was gonna go for that gap, good thing I didn't. Look at all the like, tree branches in there. Yeah, there's like nice gap opportunities, but it looks like they're all kind of blocked off. So we'll keep going around here. What about this big tree? Doesn't look like there's too many branches in there. I just find it crazy how like I can literally go up to a tree now and like a month and a half ago I can't I couldn't even go through a tree like that. But now I can just do it like not even thinking about it. So I saw a little gap in this tree. Just like that. Okay, we hit the tree on the other side. Dude, it's hard to flip this drone over after the crash. If there's a way that I should be doing it, I'm not doing it right, let me know, but we're up and flying. Doesn't look like any propellers are broken or anything. So that's good. Getting a little bit low on battery now, so I think it's time to call it quits for today and I'll bring it in for the final landing. Good flight, a little bit of a broken propeller tip there, but really cool that we got these 3D printed parts out. The arm guards already saved us probably more than once, maybe even in that tree crash that we just had at the very end there. GoPro mount's perfect. Uh, I gotta check back the footage and make sure it's all good, but I would assume it's all good. I'm gonna be using this 3D printer a lot for all my different drone parts. I'm super happy about that. Turns out pretty good. The tune on the drone's amazing. My rates are amazing. So I'm probably gonna drop a video on how I figure that all out and try to help some people out that may not know. But if you like today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.